this is exciting. We have uh, the guy and lady from uh, Hillsong Worship. We have Ben and Brooke with us. And so when you're writing, you know, worship songs, is that something that comes just out of like, okay, I got to spend more time in the Bible, you know, to it almost as research for the songs? Or is it something different than that for you guys? I hope that um, it's the other way around. I hope that that worship music or worship songs are coming out of an intrinsic biblical identity and an intrinsic deep connection with God. Right. I don't think it should be, oh, we've got to write some worship songs. We should probably read the Bible. Right. You yeah. know what I mean? It has to be the other way around. Otherwise, like, yeah. what's the point? Otherwise, it's not going to come from a real place and it's not going to be something that shifts something in the spiritual realm. So when we're writing worship songs, we're not trying to write entertainment with Jesus lyrics. We're trying to actually create a sound that becomes the song of the people of God that moves something in the spiritual realm. So it's much more than just what you hear. I think people kind of get worship wrong. And maybe you guys see this uh, you, when you talk to people, like they'll go, oh, I went to worship tonight. I, just, I, I didn't get anything out of it. It's almost like we look at worship as what it gives to us, but that's not the right lens, is it? Uh, no, not at all. I think it's the, it's the opposite. It's what we can, um, it's, it's how we can kind of just reflect back to God, the prayers that he's so mm. worthy. And I think as Brooke said, that's not just, in song and lyric, it's in every essence of why. You spend all your time, you know, you're touring and you're you're doing worship concerts and you're leading people into that moment where they can have that connection with God on that deeper level. And but I would imagine too, like you need that in your lives as well when you're not on the road and stuff. Is there some other song that you guys didn't write that's like that song actually ministers to me or speaks to me? Like, do you have a yeah. go-to? I don't know if I have a go-to song. I have go-to like hundreds of songs. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think that's the most amazing thing about songs is, um, you know, in the Old Testament, um, when the people of Israel would walk through something, they would set up um, set up memorial stones, you know, and altars. And I think that that in our lives, songs can be that for us. Songs can be memorial stones to what God has done along our journey. So I think we all have those songs um, that are memorial stones for us, that we listen and we hear those songs again and, and we remember this is what God did in my life at that time. Well, Hillsong uh, Worship has a new album coming out. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it would be easy to go, okay, well, it's a worship album, so we know it's going to be about God. We know there's going to be, like, True. basis in Scripture. Yeah. You know, like, like, so, like, how do you, how do you describe it like as different or new or what like because uh, like, people would want to know that and like so if you guys thought of that you know at all like yeah it's, it's this for us this oh, time I think this album is a game changer for us and really I say that lightly this is the um the first studio album that we've done in I think since 2003 as Hillsong Worship and um and we we went to war for this album in the spiritual <laughs> and in the natural, you know, and I think this is, um, I haven't heard a worship album that sounds like this. Every day we would pray and we would plunge our imagination into God so that the things we would think up in the studio would be gospel movement things. And that's what we went after with this album. It wasn't um, trying to create something strategically or creative, but to plunge our imagination to God. And we asked him, Lord, show us what you hear. Mm -hmm. for, for us, it, it's cost a lot, but I, I'm really expectant for what it's going to do in people's lives, but I think it's perhaps the most important music I've ever been a part of. Oh, wow. And you've been a part of some pretty important music, so that's <laughs> that's kind of saying a lot. That's awesome, man. And I'm sure it's going to be one of those things that does definitely change uh, people's lives, and that's got to make you feel good, too. So October 11th, uh, it's the new Hillsong album coming out. You're definitely going to want to pick that up for sure. 